Today's a different kind of day for Theo. Like about the past month, I've seen like I'm in limbo, kind of like I'm like I'm between like lives, kind of like part ghost, part human. My father died uh, a couple years ago. Sorry to hear that. And then my mother actually lives down in Tucson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the age of 14, my mother emancipated me, like legally emancipated me, like signing the contract and everything that just says that I'm responsible for my own actions and whatnot. I mean, I think I was kind of a special kid growing up and I really, like I could use like a lot of affection. I needed a lot of attention. She couldn't do it. I mean, it's gonna be hard on me in the future, I think, because I don't really know how to care about somebody. You must know what we're doing. <laughs> Clueless. <laughs> I wonder what kind of people did y'all think would be here? Like, well, I knew they would be between 18 and 24, yeah. and I knew it was gonna be three girls and, and three, three guys. Yeah. I got this dream that I got here, and everyone else was Japanese and didn't oh. speak a word of English. Japanese? I have a big, I can't deal with Asian people that much, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! We're all going to be Asian, and you were gonna Exactly. Be so You're gonna trouble. be like, I'm not gonna be in trouble, you. I just have trouble, I've just had trouble dealing with them. Theo, he's 19, he's young. Um, he probably hasn't been around a lot of people of color. What in the hell is Theo? That's what I think people think of me when they first talk to me, get to know me. They don't really understand me. Because, I mean, a lot of times I don't even understand myself, you know? I'm surprised as other people are at some of the things that come into my head or some of the things that I think about. Why do you do it? Why do you play rugby? Rugby just fits me to a team, man. It's one of those sports that just works out. It's about brotherhood and camaraderie. Rugby doesn't care if you get hurt, if you, if you have a sprained ankle. It wants you to keep playing. And I love that about this sport. I love it how it just kind of tells you to deal with the pain and, and you know. Yeah, I, don't know. I don't really have a sport like that. I'm a slender guy. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't need to snap anything. I mean, I need everything I have. Let's go, Latarian. Oh, it's time, baby. Go. I feel like I need a hardest right now. Oh. You can do yeah. this. It's not going to be that bad. Can't live life being afraid you're going to die. Dead man walking. Oh, don't say that. I've never been with a black girl. Although, like, I could have, but I was in a relationship. Right. Whoa, I could have. I totally could have, dude. Yeah. I could have. I, I swear, I could have. I had a black best friend. I had a oh, my best friend. I need like, a twin. Uh, my roommate's black. <laughs> My uh, dog's black. Yeah, black. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, James, James, James is saying that. I'm sorry, I thought this was get on the bus. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 oh my god. Just being who I am, sometimes nobody will understand me. But then I don't really know if it's me or if it's just the people that I'm around. I don't know, like I just have so many mixed emotions about everything. This is just so insane. It's so insane. Yeah. Like it's just gonna be so much fun. Don't laugh at me. Huh? Am I okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Y'all wanna walk down by that crick they got down there? What? That what? When will they retreat crick. us? Crick? Down at the bottom of there. Do we have like two hours? I'm gonna put a crick in your neck. Maybe I don't fit in with these people that much. I just feel like sometimes maybe they just don't like my personality. They just don't like the way that I am. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that Gardner joke is pretty insane, oh too. I was like, what? What? Somebody, I got black I friends. Like, well, my uncle's roommate's black. Well, my dog's black. Well, my, oh my Gardner's God. black. <laughs> Like Theo, we've seen a thousand times. Yeah. Theo is just out of And I mean, he's, he's a good kid or whatever. He's he just out doesn't know. They just don't know me yet. You know, they don't need to jump on my case. I mean, I'm not uh, I'm not jumping on their case about anything. Whenever people meet me for the first time, they laugh at me or something like that. I mean, I, don't, I just don't understand it sometimes. I've always felt that I was different than other people in a way. I mean, we're in a group right now, but right now I'm, I'm totally alone. We're leaving here with the cash, man. I don't know these people. And then I run it off with my bank. How do you, do you realize like how many girls would just own our nuts just for the hell of it? Just because we're just nobody. Just for no one. Well, you know yeah. what it is? It's the journey man, is what it is, I think. No, I, I don't know, man. I'm really on a journey dude, just to like really, really like get to know myself, I think. And experience myself. I've had too much outside influence, especially from females. Just messed up kind of my emotions. And that's what part of my journey is about, man. Finding faith, having faith in myself. Trust in your own gut. I just feel like on the inside, sometimes I'm just a bunch of band-aids, you know? And, I'm, and I just keep adding to the wound. I'm just not healing anything. Just by the way that I live my life. I don't know. 
Yeah, this trip's really like a lot about a lot about doing some things for myself. The penis thing is not really my thing. My penis seems to be fine the way it is, and I don't need the machine. I'm actually thinking that I'd rather get a DWI than get married to one Truder, of you can have those missions, dude. You can have those missions, but not this mission. This is my mission, and I'm taking it back, dude. <laughs> it's the first time. It might be the only time because you might die. You're right. You're right. That's a very good point. Remember that. It's cool how life takes you different ways and whips you around like leaves in the wind. It's cool how life can just set you on a breeze and show you your country and have the most fun, you know, that you've maybe ever had and learn the most about yourself that you've ever learned. Yeah. Hey, 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 you sing your song, dude. Oh, yeah, sing the lonely song. It's, it's about time right yeah, now. Sing the lonely song. Well, I ain't got to hurry to get all fixed up. I got an extra space in the cab of my truck. All I have to do is just, like, strap on my seatbelt, keep it, you know, kind of loose, and just kind of enjoy the ride that we're going on. I'm just going to inhale everything and just, like, let it just marinate in my lungs. It's been nice, and it's going to get even better, I can only imagine. My mom and daddy, it may not seem right, but the greenest grass grows. It's kind of wild seeing all the coins out at one time. Like, like, each coin is symbolic of a different day and of a different time and of a different fear overcome. I'm going to save away for, like, a rainy day, like a tsunami typhoon rainy day, because I got a lot of money.